Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Khmer, episode 9 now, in Europe and there's was 4 of course. So, we're going down the route of colonising Indonesia and all other places like the Philippines, which is my current focus, though. Got a little mission for Sula, so decided to take it, not colonising in the Philippines since I haven't got my second colonist yet. So it's mainly just going fast, and I'm probably actually going to only focus one on the Philippines, and bring one to colonising all this down here, and setting up, basically, the platform I'm going to use to declare war on all these. Like, Makassar shouldn't take much, nor should, say, Button, or Bhutan, I believe that is. Explore the waters of the East China Sea. Okay, where's the West China Sea then? Here. So Japan is basically going to invade all of this. And they've gone to their federal... Yep, yeah, yeah. Things are getting interesting. Micronesia. Yeah, I could colonize that at some point too, I suppose. All these little islands. They're not worth much, but... Naval bases everywhere? They sort of are fun. It makes getting you to a 100% war score a big pain in the ass for them, isn't it? So, pretty close to this. So what achievements will this put me mainly towards? Pile of gold is a possibility, though I doubt it. Huh, no. City of Cities is a possibility. Pay a few ducats. <coughs> There's a lot of general achievements I could achieve. Come on now. Let's explore the coast. So basically, we're discovering Siberia, are we? Nope, seems we're just discovering a bunch of small islands in the north of Japan. Fun times. So if I take that, and then, say, go around here and colonize this island, and this island, and the, uh, not, this island and the Philippines, that should, in theory, Give me both significant trade in the molecule, uh, Maluk the Moluccas, I believe, and the Philippines, and that should be able to, to some extent, direct several ducats worth of trade to the Philippines. There's not much trade here yet, since it's not very colonized, and yeah, they all want it really, I think. Gondwana. They're having a good time. So, one thing that I need to do is very simple, and that is get this idea. That should enable me to corner these two places at once without any issues. And once I've got this island here, which I believe is Sula Wesley. I believe it's an area. Yeah, Sulawesi. Sulawesi? Once I have all of that, I should be strong enough in theory to take all of this and deal Brunei. Brunei is normally a medium power in the region. Oh yes, I'll take that any day. I should still make money while doing this. So I've discovered Sindh, and Sindh seems to have become Baluchistan. Okay. That's about to arrive. I should be able to afford this. Yep, I can. That's very good. Uh, 
I'm most likely going to. So that's got four two one. I believe this has got six two. How does this ratio work? It doesn't. Okay, that's helpful, but not helpful because this is nearly done anyway. So you are now 40, so you're pretty old, but you should cling on for another 10 to 20 years easily. Was Ming's average on the throne yet? Nope. They vassalized Hezweni, and Hezweni's probably going to want to have revenge. So either way, my development's gone from like 240 to 245, which is substantial and pleasant. And I think I'll go over here now, colonize this, so I can invade these two. Like they are pretty developed, though. As well as having decent militaries, I would assume. They also, well, they're very developed, so they're going to cost a bunch of admin to call, aren't they? So I'll take this up to six infantry and two cannons, which should produce a small army that can fight against them relatively well. So this will go up to two cannons, as well. add on two cannons to this. You can't build cannons here, can you? Why so? Uh, oh well. I'll just let the game think that. I'll build those later, because I can't really afford it too greatly right now. You know, I'm just going to plant them on that province now and see what I can see. Seven and seven. They're not doing too bad then, are they? So even when I'm just colonizing, I'll have the claim, I'll be able to claim them, and then defeat them both, because they're not very strong at all. Yep, they're considerable amounts of them, but that's it. So that's almost done, Sula is, and I can send you there. Sula is not a core yet, so I'm going to have to core it first. Nine months. You know what, let's get an additional cannon to infantry up here. No, that's Cav. Damn it, I didn't want that. I want my infantry. That's what I wanted. Let me know when a friend messages you while you're recording. If you ain't now, I can begin fabricating on you. And begin fabricating on you. <coughs> so I'm going to send him up here.
collect the new army that's been made. So the army that will be here. So let's get you down here now quick. So I'm committing what I think should be enough. My 15 transports should also in theory be strong enough to take them out. Or to fulfill the role of holder of said strait. So it's both it's a straight crossing either way. One's a tech seven, the other's a tech eight. I think I'll try and take on the tech eight one first. And what level forts have they got? Are they only low level or are they actually building up to a level that is more concerning. Level one, level one. Yeah, I shouldn't have an issue with that. Uh, I'll set that. John Poo's having a civil war. That's nice. For them. So that's in that. So it looks like I'll have both claims done. What's up now? Did I lose that much money from the tax income? Uh, slashing out. So the one that's on lower tech has an extra troop. It's a cannon, but it is a troop nevertheless. He's the one I'll kill first. Then I oh no. Well I'll just declare war on you first then. There they were not even on full maintenance, so looks like I was gonna Yeah, that's a crush. And that's just a matter of sieging the fort down. That shouldn't take too much at all. Now we'll have to convert those. And also, actually, there is one other issue. Due to the civil war possibility, it's going to be best to take both in quick succession and call them both very quickly. And also, you got your average ruler now? Nope, you're still on. Yeah. A civil war with this sort of nation would also be very painful since, you know, I'd have to send transports and land everywhere and land here and land there. So I'm going to have full thing here, naval force limit modifier, which is very nice. That'll boost my naval capacity, hopefully, with that trade capacity I'm also going to get. I'll be able to take on both. Now they have some ships here, some ships there. Now there's three trapped transports and three, uh, five light ships, so shouldn't be much of an issue there. So, naval force limit modifier, and of course, it's barely against all that. We both just like.
Well, I can gain some karma, so that actually doesn't really bother me. Oh, well, the general just died in that battle. Oh, boy. Is it me or has that been made more common now? Still not like they, I'm going to lose, though, is it? And he didn't have a siege pip, so it won't affect the siege speed, I believe. So, I'm going to do the peace deal with both nations at the same time, which should be okay. So, I've got three provinces that are overseas, technically, that produce tea, so that's nice. And these produce spices. Two provinces, well, three provinces with spices then. Accumulate money. I'll take it. Disease outbreak has pushed that back. Fun times. So once all this is colonized, and say Makassar as such is under my control, I'm moving, shifting a ducat. So things are getting better. They keep on attacking and failing. Mine comes down right now. Maybe we've got rebels there. No, that's Brunei, but it looks like there's a rebel there because there's a fort there. Oh, come on, just die. How much does it take? Okay, Tibidor, you must die. And you know what, I'll take all your money as well. Oh wow, you had a lot. I assume you have a lot as Oh god, that has a lot of money. That was basically an instant upgrade in terms of mu income. <laughs> Just zoom, done. Your mission doesn't bother me. Now, how long... This will go... One a month. These will be done... In three years. Ooh. Well, I think I can do it. And I am now a rival of Ming. Ming has rivaled me. Ming views me as a strong enough nation to be their rival. Wow. Let's build two cannons up here then for this. Just add some reason for them to not attack me. So I'm going to try and prevent those rebellions, but they're basically guaranteed. And I can also convert those, because they're animist, even though they have s very high development. So, once this is done, the next province I'll probably go to is either one of these, either Buru, or another province, I'm not sure. You just keep on exploring. I might go there, then there. Just generally take over. I might try and take Papua, just to get a nice big name of Khmer something over here. Here. So, I'm doing okay. Not doing too bad. This could have really gone a lot worse, couldn't it? Now I'm going to go slowly down instead of just jumping to this. Because then, if I say want to bring new troops to it, I have to gather them in a bigger blob to go through the 7k natives, because if you send one troop into that, it's not going to have a good time. Either way, just about to reach, you know, 20 minutes, so... I'm going to have to end the episode here, and I'm going to have to say thank you for watching. So, hope you enjoyed that. So, next time, 
we'll most likely be going for a little bit of expansion in this and up here. And Ming could begin a collapse, quite possibly. They also attack ahead of me in military, which is something I do not want at all. So let's get our military tech and then we'll end the episode there, shall we? Let's send you off on another exploration mission because, you know, nothing better for him to do. And, well, November we get a new infantry type, which should strengthen our standing military a little bit more. So, you know, lovely. Been making a lot of progress. A lot of progress indeed. Asian Arquebusa, Inheritance. Ooh, what's this in? Leave wait, let's have a look at this event. Let's take the karma, because, you know, I was in negative karma, very negative karma. So, I'm going to want to recover from that. Either way, let's end this episode here on this year, well, now. So, either way, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time, where hopefully, we continue to establish our new island empire, and eventually, begin reclaiming rightful land of the Khmer Empire. Either way, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye for now.